my team take up the design challenge of Continental to create a solution for the cruising shuffle function in an automated driving car. With the exponential increase in computation power and the coming of the 5G technology, the realization of IoT is imminent. The most high implementation of IoT will be nothing but automated driving. Just like human, an automated driving car requires sensors to know the situation or surrounding of the car. The most commonly used sensor is LiDAR, as it provides high accuracy in visualizing the car surrounding. However, a LiDAR is super expensive, bulky, and needs to be placed on top of the car for the best effectiveness. This is why our project proposed an adaptive cruise control system with computer vision implementation, which uses the cheapest and commonly available sensor, camera. An adaptive cruise control system covers two parts, which are speed control and directional control. First, let us look into how the adaptive cruise control system controls the speed of a vehicle. When the adaptive cruise control is activated, the vehicle shall travel at a constant speed along the road. The vehicle shall only slow down when an obstacle or other vehicles are detected in front, which is why a computer vision object detection program is needed to detect the appearance of other vehicles. This is the design block diagram of the speed control system. The camera is responsible for capturing the video from the front view of our vehicle. The video would have been passed into YOLO object detection program for vehicle detection. If a vehicle is detected, its distance to our vehicle will be calculated. Then, the distance value will be put into a PID controller for controlling our vehicle speed. Next, we will look into the design blocks one by one. You Only Look Once, or commonly known as YOLO, is a new open-source object detection approach. It is extremely fast and able to process streaming video in real time. In our system, YOLO is used to detect the appearance of vehicles in the front. The bounding box indicating the detector of vehicle will return the call that parameter, which will be used later in the distance estimation algorithm. Next. Taking the bottom coordinate value of the bounding box, the position-based distance estimation algorithm is used to calculate the distance between the detected vehicle and our vehicle. The distance data obtained from the algorithm is fed into the last block of our design, a PID controller. The PID controller is designed so that the gas pedal and brake pedal shall be applied according to the set speed, whereby the set speed is determined from the distance data from your load. From the result, we can observe that the gas pedal is applied according to the current velocity and set velocity. The velocity can go from 0 m per second to 25 m per second in moderate 15 seconds. The overshoot percentage is also less than 1%. This graph shows the PID controller controls the gas pedal according to the input distance from your room. By default, the vehicle shall cruise at 25 m per second. As the front vehicle draw near, the set speed shall decrease proportionally and less gas pedal shall be applied. Next, we shall observe how the whole system moves together through a demonstration. Right, so we can see that initially, the vehicle is cruising at 25 meter per second which is the default value. And when a vehicle appears, the distance is calculated and the set speed is changed. The gas pedal will go to negative value which means that the brake is applied so that the current vehicle speed will also decrease yeah, following the set speed. Then, when the desired speed is achieved, the gas pedal will rise again and the speed will be maintain a safe distance between the front vehicle and our vehicle. In conclusion, computer vision with object detection implementation provide a reliable alternative to the LiDAR-based surrounding visualization in adaptive cruise control. Thank you.